Doesn't matter what I do, she's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up when we're going dancing. My heart stops beating when my headlights shining on her. She's my country girl. I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me. She's so damn out of my league. She's a little bit crazy on the weekends. Dancing in her red dress. And I love the way she looks in my eyes. And I feel like. so wild just with that sweet smiling there's nobody else for me my heart starts racing every time i'm looking at her she's my country girl i couldn't tell you what she's doing to me she's so damn out of my league she's a little bit crazy on the weekends dancing to you doesn't matter what I do she's got a hold on me Hello, hello. I am so tired. I'm more tired than I've ever been. We have too much stuff. We have so much stuff. Why do we have so much stuff? You know, moving really makes you prioritize the things you have in your life. Especially when you can't find them after you moved. Like, where is my hummus machine? Where is my coffee machine? Do you get a proper chair? No, it's just a task chair from Christine's office. <laughs> Did 
Did you find the coffee? Guess where the coffee was? The coffee was in the drawer right under the coffee machine. Because Ben from a week ago was like, hey, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to bring that coffee early and put it right underneath the coffee machine. And then Ben three days ago was like, oh my God, what box is the coffee in? And I opened every single box in the kitchen, <laughs> unpacked with Christine, like every utensil, every bowl, every plate. <laughs> there's like, there's no coffee in here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Past Ben fucked me up. You know how it is. Christine, I kind of like this chair. Can I keep it? I, I've still got a lot to do. Christine's all set up. She's got nail polish shelves and desks. and I still have to find a hummus fridge. Did the bongos make... The bongos are here somewhere. <laughs> hey, Tyler. Sorry we left you in the basement at the old place. How are you, how are you making out there? Are you surviving on a centipede? Centipedes and whatever was left in the litter box? You've got second chair money. I'm sure you can afford another one. Actually, I'm, we're, I'm all out of money. I can't afford a chair anymore. House was too expensive. Tyler, Tyler's dead? Oh no. Oh no. That's a good YouTube video title though. <laughs> Tyler, you could come back in a... What's, what's... Not Evan and Caitlin. Who are those two guys who pretend to see ghosts? <laughs> Do you know who I'm talking about? Uh... Corey and Tyler? No. The Conjuring Kids. Sam and Colby. If you died, you would you need to come back and fuck with those kids. <laughs> the Davinsky twins? Who the hell are you? What sort of weird shit are you into? What side of YouTube is the the Davinsky Davinsky twins? <laughs> That's right, I don't have enough money left for a fridge because I bought a big picture of a thousand dollar bill. Is this obnoxious? I just, I like it. I like like the artwork, I like the color. It's like, it's like a super macro photo of a thousand dollar bill. Please look up Da Vinci Twins? I don't think I want to. Did it cost a thousand dollars? I can't remember. What it... <laughs> it came with a thousand dollar bill though. I like I like some Cana I like I want I needed some Canadian content in this house. Can I paint you a portrait of Zeus and Uma for your new home? <laughs> I have thought that I would like... We definitely have walls that could use art. And uh, I think portraits of Menchie and Zyler is something I would, I would like at some point. Aren't you Canadian content? I don't know. Have you ever seen those rules? They're really complicated. I'm laying in the hospital bed. Why the move? Why? Why you gotta? <laughs> was that was that context necessary for the question, Kim? I hope you're okay.
Sorry, what was the question? That <laughs> fucking threw me. <laughs> hey, I, I'm dying. What did you have for dinner? <laughs> hey, I just got hit by a bus. Uh, what's your favorite Taylor Swift song? <laughs> Wait, what was the question? <laughs> Why the move? Oh, mostly because... Uh, God, even in our last place, which I really liked our last house. Um, but more, like half of it had just turned into stacks of nail polish. And I didn't have an office. I was like streaming in a room off the kitchen or just working on the couch. The sink didn't work. <laughs> we just have, we have too much stuff and too much, we do too much work at home. Anyway, that's the reason I'm telling people. The real answer is that, yeah, Sniper Wolf doxed me on her IG. Actually, Jax, Jax Films doxed me because I defended Sniper Wolf. <laughs> Man, that's, that's the take, I feel like, uh, the collection box bathroom, yeah. And in this house, we have we have a room full of chimpanzees on typewriters. Uh, I have a room that's just wall to wall with TVs, just playing Sniper Wolf videos on a loop. <laughs> Whenever you're feeling a little stressed out, you just go in there. What happens when you fill up this house with nail polish? I, I I can't do another move. I don't have it in me. It's the decompression room, the sniper wolf room. Do you have a new male shower? There is a shower that I don't think we're going to use as a shower, so I would not be surprised if it uh, gets full of mail. What are the chimpanzees writing? I think Hamlet or King Henry the Fourth, Fifth Part Two. Is there a bidet? Okay, so good question. Is there a bidet? There is a bidet in this house, or it's a toilet with a bidet in it. And uh, I've never used a bidet before. How sp how descriptive do you want me to get? Do you want my bidet review? <laughs> Well, hello there, little miss, getting a little braver. How are you doing? Look who came out from under the bread bed to visit. That's what I should have titled this stream. Ben uses a bidet for the first time. <laughs> Menchie, you want to hear about it? So, okay, all I'll say is I, I'm still a little confused uh, do I use the bidet? Uh, do you still, you do so, <laughs> do you wipe a little bit first and then use the bidet? <laughs> Is that what I'm supposed to do? I, I couldn't find the instructions. Hey, where are you going? Menchie's gotten a lot better, by the way. The first two days were pretty, uh, were pretty rough. Didn't see a lot of Menchie. See, I'm seeing conflicting answers. Wipe, rinse, repeat. Use first, then wipe. Wipe, then use. Wipe too dry. I, I don't think any of you really know what you're talking about. How Zyler? Zyler was totally, he's happy. He's very, he's a very happy boy. I think back in the day when we were in that condo, it kind of bothered him how little space he had. So the last move seven years ago or whatever, uh, really made him happier. I can't believe we had Menchie and Zyler and the two of us in that uh, condo. It was like a one bedroom with off uh, one and a half, I guess you'd say. That was, looking back on that, that was fucking crazy. I, th 
think I'm too bogan for a bidet? What does bogan mean? Is that Australian slang? I need to know. Things I need to look up from this stream. What does bogan mean? Bogan mean. Uncouth. Low social status. <laughs> Aussie slang for hick. Redneck. And what were the twins I'm supposed to look up? Does Xyler still have stairs in this house? He loves stairs. He does love stairs. He's been hanging out on the stairs a lot here. <laughs> we noticed for the first like two or three days, often he would just be on like one specific step as if he had sort of claimed it. Da Vinci twins? Who are the Da Vinci twins? Looks so cool. No. Not into it. What 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 was yeah, were those the island boys? The island boys look different. Not my speed. Well, what, what even, there was no punchline. What was the point of that video? <laughs> this reminds me of, Tyler, did you get ever, did you ever get roped into going on uh, the Fine Bros uh, channel? Creators react. <laughs> we, did, we did that one time and they played, uh, it was supposed to be oddly satisfying videos. And at the time, I didn't watch a lot of YouTube, and I had no idea what that trend was. So they showed me a few videos of, like, sand. Hey, here's someone touching sand. And they're like, what do you think? And I'm like, I do not. I'm, I'm sorry. I do not have a reaction for you. You know what's funny? Fine Brothers made a lot of uh, lazy content just reacting to things. Why didn't Jack's film make an entire channel dedicated to uh, making fun of the Fine Bros? I wonder why. Boomer Tendo? I think if I still... If I today watched a compilation of oddly satisfying videos, I don't think I'd be satisfied at all. Right, uh, enough of Nashville Pulse music. I don't like sand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or like, why, why do you... <laughs> the React stuff was all, like, they knew what they were doing, right? They would ask you questions that kind of, because uh, the other one, uh, the other thing they played was a bunch of uh, K-pop. I was like, what do you, what do you think of K-pop? I'm like, I don't know. I, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're singing in Korean. <laughs> and the guy was like, oh yeah, well they sing a lot about uh, positivity for youth and blah, blah, blah. And like, he's like filling in a lot of blanks for me. So I'm like, that sounds all right. So I'm pretty sure they got me to say something positive about K-pop. <laughs> Make your own compilation of videos you find satisfying. There is a new channel I really like. Tyler, you should check. Tyler, I'll send this to you later. Ta-ta for now. Big kiss. I subscribe to it. Where is it? I 
I think they only post shorts, though. How do I look up shorts? YouTube really wants me to watch shorts. What is going on here? It's like a sequel to the channel about uh, that tunnel. Yeah, yeah, it's this. <laughs> Here, I'll show you. This is my new favorite channel. <laughs> So it's this really poorly designed turn that people regularly crash at. Called the the OG turn. That's not it. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Did y'all leave Ottawa? No, we're still in Ottawa. How could we leave Ottawa? natural light or still it is a studio light i do have a window here but uh i'm still got i've got to figure out this setup obviously uh although this looks all right you got to be able to see the shelves i've got to populate the shelves i have a couch now that's nice Are people dumb? No, it's no. This is actually interesting. It's uh, the people aren't wrong. It's the city's fault. Roads are supposed to be designed in a way where it's not so easy to just drive right off of them. Usually, I guess there's a bit of a curve or a bend or something. This is the couch for reading? I have a little. Uh, I have a chair for reading somewhere else. I've already designating another chair, a reading chair. The best surprise is the shelves. I assume they were built in. No, it's a... Uh... <laughs> I, felt, I felt bad for the guys moving this thing. Because they had to... <laughs> they had to take it apart. All those shelves had to be removed. So they could bring it here. And then it had to be rebuilt. <laughs> ben, do your nails? Testing, testing. Do you see? Are we having Booktendo stream on Sunday? All right, so the the move totally killed my ability to read. I, I admit, I got through most of uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, but I didn't actually finish it. I also, I'm very interested in the history. I'm glad I know about it now, but I also found that book and movie uh, maybe longer than they needed to be. I didn't get through the movie because that was the night Zyler came back from the dentist where they, I think, had given him too much uh, uh, sedative. So that was, a, that was a tough night. Oh, I left my ability to read in the old house. Yep. How does that happen? Poor Zyler. I think just as you get older, and I think it was a different type of, uh, I'm blanking on the word. 
Not antiseptic. Uh, anesthesia. Yeah, I think it just hit him harder. Like he he had a bit of an accident. Uh, not to expose the old guy, but uh, yeah, last time he got some dental work done. Uh, he was totally fine after, ready to go. And this time he was like so out of it that he just uh, he just he peed in the bed. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> yeah. We love Zyler. It's tough too with, you know, you know like you want to make sure he feels good and has the most comfortable uh, senior years he can. So it's like, oh, if his teeth are bothering him, we should do something about that. But like putting him through, going to the vet, getting put under, people poking at him and doing things. It's like, I don't know. Is that a trade-off he would make? It's tough making these decisions for them, you know? Does he complain about the teeth? He seems so happy, which I love like more than anything in the world. He is such a happy cat and he's just gotten happier as he's gotten older. I feel like Christine's just given him such a great life. I'm talking like he's still like youthful and happy and yeah. How old is he? He's like 16. I think turning 17 this year. Still eating too quick? Always. <laughs> yeah, but he's turned into a real sweetie. He's gotten more. He's just a big suck now. How am I? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm happy. Things are going well. I'm just so tired. You always, I think, I don't know, this is very cliche, right? But like you forget how much work moving is until you do it. And then hopefully you don't have to do it for another like decade. Go take a nap. Yeah. Soon. You're moving next month. You, Morgan, you're moving in with the donkeys, right? Are we going to meet at the donkey sanctuary? We got to do that. Are you in? Cats, I, I moved a few months ago. I'm still tired. Oh, I was supposed to come in and get ice cream, wasn't I? I haven't, I've been neglecting my ice cream privileges. They open to the public next month. This The donkey place, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, maybe I'll reach out to them, see if we can set something up. Do you think they'd let me do a stream from the donkey place, Morgan? Morgan, could you make that happen? <laughs> Morgan, you want to get the donkey people on the line? <laughs> See if we can have a meet and greet with the donkeys. Can we rent out the donkey sanctuary for a day? <laughs> All right, talk to your people. Mod meetup, Mar Marin, are you in? How far? Like, I guess, uh, yeah, you could drive that. Silly munchkins, I'm done driving. Glad you have a new cozy place to stream. Here's some money for your hummus fridge. That's very sweet of you. Happy you moved. Hugs for Xyler and Menchie, always. So is Hummus Fridge the new uh, pizza oven? I, okay. I do have a place for the pizza oven now, outside. But I we have so much to do to get set up in this space. I feel like pizza oven is kind of low on the priority list. But uh, we will make it happen. Not that far. I've never been to Buffalo. Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> B 
buy a trampoline? Why? Will we get a house tour? I don't know. We always found that kind of thing obnoxious. I get why people are interested, but we're also pretty private. Wait, do you actually have your own office room now? Yeah, this is my room. The room is so big, people can just sneak up on me and I won't notice them. <laughs> House tour of the old house? That's funny. What we should do is after we sell the old house, we should just tell everyone the address and just invite people over there. <laughs> hey, Christine, you look like a thousand bucks. I had a picture in front of it. <laughs> that scared you? <laughs> I guess the chat's blocking the door. You can't see her come in. <laughs> She's right behind you. I can supervise from here. That's why the couch. They definitely can't hear you. Oh. You can turn it up. Actually, this is a good test. Say something. Say something. You, they can probably hear. Where's Menchi? Where'd Menchi go? You see her? The bedroom, yeah. How is the audio in general? They can't hear the music. They can't hear the music? No. You need a sofa mic? Second mic over here. <laughs> we could get a second mic just dangling from the ceiling. With your hot water tap? With my instant hot water tap. Didn't I get you a fancy new kettle for your birthday? We shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I fucked up. Who has time to wait for a kettle? Can I just point out, instant hot water tap, my idea. Yeah, true. Christine's like, oh, it's so bougie. We don't need that. <laughs> we need that. Now I like it. Now you know. I, when my sister was over, I was like, look, look at this instant hot water. Right now, and then she was sitting on the couch, and she's like, "I'm. Where is it? I thought it was instant." And I'm like, "Well, it has to steep." And she's like, "Throw it out." So isn't the yeah the steeping? Isn't there a ritual of the making tea is that from the instant or from the hot water boiling? Normally, it's a two-step process. You have to wait for it to boil, and then you have to wait for it to steep. For the instant hot water only eliminates one of them. It's like you can't not steep your tea. I had to explain this to her. But like, there's no part of you that's like, part like pressing a button and the water boiling is part of my routine. Yeah, it's a way to waste more time. And, you know, now I. <laughs> you are such a robot. It's not just about wasting time. There's some. Is there something therapeutic about the process of making tea? I mean, it's still therapy cut in half because the <laughs> steeping time is still there. What if you need a hundred percent of your therapy? I think it's still good to have a kettle for if you're trying to serve like four people tea or no, that's what teapot. That's what you need. I should have got you a teapot for your in birthday. Case my, in case the instant hot water breaks, then yeah, we should have a No, drink. sometimes you might want to fill a, ke uh, a teapot with enough tea for more than one serving. Right? And then you could have a tea, you could have a tea party. How you love tea so much. Why have you never had a tea party? You know, like, I uh, tea every day and I party. you make little sandwich cookies or uh, little cucumber sandwiches. You get a teapot. You get a fancy teapot. I like my instant hot water tap. <laughs> party at the tap, bitches. Christine's a modern tea lady. Yeah. I don't need people at my party. Okay. I alone can have a tea party. You can too. 
cup and some hot water. And maybe some longer therapy if you are boiling it. Cut in half with the other instant hot water. <laughs> yeah, tea party is too many people. It's high society stuff. Oh, how you doing? Long day? Yeah, I work to do. Bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. I'm probably going to keep stream pretty short tonight. What have you kids been up to while I'm gone? Are you playing Fortnite? <laughs> what percent are you unpacked? Maybe 35%. I stared at the sun today. Can I, like, I don't want to be a big womp womp Debbie Downer. Was that a little underwhelming? I was talking to my sister who was like, it's amazing. We got to see the, she got, she was somewhere where you see the sun completely blocked out. What's that called? Not the singularity. The, uh... <laughs> Like, it was cool and all. But, like, uh, in Canada, in Ontario, the totality, yeah. She saw the totality. She said it's amazing. She would travel to see it. And I'm like, I'm, I'm very happy for you. I thought it just got a little dark during the day. <laughs> you had clouds? Yeah, we. it was a little overcast here. Maybe it was just a little underwhelming in Ottawa. We, we didn't get it. We had, like, 98% coverage or something. I guess maybe people who had the totality just had a completely different experience. That makes sense. The donkeys probably had a good time. They were probably very confused. Because donkeys really represents uh, the human condition. And ignorance is one of the main things I think of when I think of the human condition. Montreal, you had 100%. It was amazing. Cool. I, I just found, uh, so when Christine went, uh, Christine went to Toronto with her sister a while back and, uh, she came back, she comes back and she goes, okay, on eclipse day, uh, you can't leave the house or drive. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, there's signs all on the highway that it's going to be an emergency that you can't leave the house or go anywhere. I'm like, N What? Did, did you guys have similar messaging wherever you are? I swear, the Canadian media coverage of this eclipse was like, why you might go blind, why your pets might go blind. A bunch of people might die in a car accident. Don't drive. Don't leave the house. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It got dark for a few minutes. And not even completely dark. <laughs> Just a little bit dark. <laughs> Yeah, they're letting schools out early. It's for traffic because of travel. I understand like in some places we're going to get a ton of tourists. But even then they're acting like, like, was it Niagara de declared a state of emergency, right? Is that necessary? It's mostly so dum-dums don't just stare at the sun for two hours. <laughs> I took a little peek. Let's be honest, we've all stared at the sun for a few seconds, in totality. Kingston did too? Yeah, Kingston was in the path. So yeah, I think they also told people don't drive. Like, I kind of get it from, like, a city's perspective that it's like, hey, we know at least a few people are going to be on the road just staring at the sky and they're going to drive into a wall. You know, I'm sure you could see a statistical blip of more people uh, dying in car accidents during eclipses. I, I can believe that. But is that prevented by getting on TV and saying everyone don't leave the house during an eclipse where's the trade-off in our society you know 
what did you eat? What? Like, today? What did I eat today? Abigail, be more specific. What should you eat with your hummus? Maybe some blueberries? Or like get a blueberry scone and dip that in hummus. Yes, today, what did you eat? So we haven't been cooking yet. Uh, this morning I had some Greek yogurt with raspberries um, and a little bit of granola. And then for lunch, I had Christine made a smoothie, but I also had a little bit of tabbouleh, roasted red pepper hummus, some bread. And for dinner, I had a little bit of I did, uh, half a chicken Caesar wrap. Get a smash burger and dip it in chocolate. There's a new burger place in Ottawa people are talking about. I think it's called Smash Daddy. Not a great name, a little uh, sexually suggestive. Uh, that's that's that doesn't float my boat. I think it's called Smash Daddy, right? Am I wrong about that? Also, I did break my glasses during the move. That was not fun. And I just reached out to an optometrist today. And they're like, oh, okay, we can get you an appointment in May or June. I'm like, my, my glasses are broken right now. It's an emergency. Yeah, Christine just <laughs> used nail glue to glue my glasses back together. Did a box let No, my glasses just fell off my face. I got to get new ones. Help me, help me shop for new glasses. I haven't gotten a, an eye exam in a while, so I feel like I should do that. Although I think I see fine with these. Just go to the Walmart optometrist for an updated prescription. Walmart has eye doctors? I've never heard it. I know, uh, I think I knew some Loblaws do. You're supposed to get an eye exam every two years to prevent eye problems. I think it's been like, I think my last one was like 2019 or something. Walmart optometry slaps? Damn, I wouldn't have thought of Walmart as the place to get uh, healthcare. Is that just a me problem? Like, even now, I'm going to admit there's some judgment in me. I'm going to assume you're not finding the best eye doctors in Walmarts. But that could be just a very ignorant, uh, it's a totally uninformed opinion, you know? I get my glasses at Costco. I feel like Costco is a step up from Walmart, though. Is it not? Like if someone told you you had to get your appendix out and there was a surgeon in uh, Walmart, Trader Joe's, or Costco. What are you picking? Costco? I have floaters that I see in my left eye. It's getting worse daily. Oh, those are ghosts. That's not in your eye. That's, that's real life. I just say one or two, which looks better. It's pretty hard to mess that up. <laughs> yeah, they're ghost orbs. It's a wraith. So no more vacations for a while after the move. So Christine may have promised me a vacation 
But even I was like, I don't know if I have it in me this summer. Don't tell her I said that. I mean, moving is kind of like going on vacation. <laughs> Bailey Nelson is a good place to go. Is that a place or a person, Lindsay? Bailey Nelson. Like Nelson, British Columbia? Don't go to Florida again? Oh, don't remind me. Honestly, I think that's just getting on a plane now. It's like everyone is just sort of stopped caring. We're just pretending there isn't still COVID, right? I'd be up for a road trip. I just don't think Christine would be into that. That would be a long, like, you know. Driving to New York, I think, was her limit. Bailey Nelson is in Westboro. It's $200 for a pair of Oh, it's a... You're recommending a, an optometrist. Thank you. She doesn't want to see the don... We can see the donkeys. That's not what I had in mind for a proper vacation, but... uh I could be convinced. Actually, Christi would Christine come to see the donkeys? I feel like that's more of a me thing. I think I'm at a point in my life where we don't have to do everything together. I don't have to force her to love everything I love. Although it could be a romantic trip to the donkey sanctuary. go with Matt. I had an idea that Matt and I could start a travel show where he okay, copyright this side. this is my idea. You're not allowed to take it, okay? Okay, TLC don't listen. I'm sure someone has done this. But like we would each have a budget. We'd go somewhere interesting. I would have a, a big budget to do nice things and stay in nice hotels. And he would have very little budget, so he would have to, like, do, like, the more, uh, just see more how locals live, not doing vacation-y, touristy stuff. More just, you know, <laughs> scrounging what he could. <laughs> Which I think is kind of how he likes to travel anyway. He's not a fancy guy. He wants to visit a place and see what it's really like, not stay at a nice hotel and do some luxury dinner or whatever sounds like fun for Matt that does sound like fun for Matt does he always get the small budget or should you switch back no he always gets the small fall budget <laughs> it's like okay we have three days in uh, uh, Florence all right Ben you have three thousand dollars Matt you have fifty dollars <laughs> You're right, Giovanni Bentendo. He could go to the Walmart optometrist. <laughs> Would he agree to always having the small budget? Sure, if I'm paying for it. I'm the producer of the show. And then we, we he gets to travel <laughs> as a business expense. I think he would jump at this opportunity. I just don't know if he'd want to film himself traveling. How many countries has Matt been to? I don't know, like 70 or something. He's traveling right now, fucking guy. I don't want to expose him, but like he went somewhere nice at first. <laughs> With his lady friend. And then after that, she's going to leave, come back to Canada. And then he's going to go to, I don't know, fucking like a Budapest or something. <laughs> No offense to Budapest, but like, he's going, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's going somewhere people normally go <laughs> with his girlfriend, and then she's leaving, and then he's like, I'm going to go to a bunch of obscure places people never go to. <laughs> <laughs> B 
Budapest is nice. I don't know. Budapest? Budapest? Maybe a podcast where you talk about the trip with a slideshow. You know, we had a room in this house I thought could be a podcast room, but I'm pretty sure Christine's turning it into her stream room. Yeah. Yeah, I think the nail polish room right now is temporary. She's more into uh, having a cozy room just for streaming. Just become a travel channel full time. I think I need about a year. I might turn the channel into Ben eating cheeseburgers for a year. Then Ben gets in shape for a year. And then Ben and Matt go traveling. <laughs> That's my three year plan. Are you going to fight over the extra rooms? I won't lie. We kind of... I thought it would be fun to turn it into like a music room. I'm like, oh, I could just put a bunch of guitars and a drum kit in there. <laughs> She's like, I think I'm going to use it for work. I'm like, okay, I think that takes priority. Time to move again. Yeah. Drum kits are just so annoying in a house. That's kind of the... And it's like, would I rather have a, a room with a drum kit or, I don't know, like a little man cave to watch movies? You know what I mean? So, like, I feel like it kept getting knocked down the priority list as well. Like, I could fit a drum kit in here, technically. But I think that would drive Christine and the cats fucking insane. There's another room in the basement I could put a drum kit, but yeah, I don't know. Do you have a home gym? We have a space for a gym, but uh, it's not set up. So do you want to watch a film together sometime? How about we watch uh, Homeward Bound for the next film, Tendo? How do you feel about that? Oh wait, I kind of I kind of got distracted. Would we be upset if I just didn't have a book tendo for Killers of the Flower Moon? I think I just kind of feel weird about it too with it being such a heavy topic that I don't necessarily feel very equipped to talk about. You know what I mean? I won't be mad if we do Twilight instead. I've never seen Twilight. Would we have to watch all of them or just like the first one? As soon as we change April's book, it's kind of zzzz. Is it uh, Chain Gang All-Stars? Is that April? I need to... Fuck, I have that. It's in a box behind me. Were we reading Black Swan? I, I think that's in a month or two. Wait, is this month Black Swan? Hi, Somi. <laughs> Last Twilight movie is the best. I've only seen the scene where the guy gets his head uh, knocked off. Which is very hereditary. April is Black Swan. Okay, so Black Swan's the current book. Yeah, all due respect to Killers of the Flower Moon, book and movie. Very uh, interesting, sobering important history 
just feels like heavy in a way I don't really have the mental bandwidth to do a book tendo on, I think, right now. The Twilight films are cinema. Don't tell Martin Scorsese. Wait, like, I think some people here unironically like Twilight. I can't tell if you're just trolling. Hello, Char's Arch. Is your picture Christine with a face mask? Do you like Twilight movies? Yes, no. Uh, so bad it's good. I want to know how to join book club. Uh, every month we read a book. The list is posted on Discord. I really should just make a community post with the books as well. And then I usually schedule the book club stream like a week in advance this month's book is black swan by nicholas taleb is that the name are you gonna see the new dev patel movie monkey man yes if that if that goes to streaming quickly we should totally watch that The books are better, in my opinion. Shaban? Is that how you say Shaban? Sorry if that's not how you say it. Uh, wasn't it uh, Fifty Shades of Grey f fan fiction? Isn't that how the Twilight book started? Did you see Dune 2? I still haven't seen Dune 2, and I really want to see it. <laughs> I'm losing my voice here. <laughs> it's so bad it's good. Wait, aren't the Twilight movie? That's sort of like Julian's thing. We could we could think of something different, right? Should we watch? Should we just watch Fifty Shades of Grey instead? <laughs> how how sexual are those movies actually? Like, are we talking full frontal? Should we watch Dune Two together? That's probably going to be streaming soon. Very sexual, Casey Riley, but like in a in a. Really? Is it actual? There's no peen? The movies are tame? Have you never seen them? No. Shandri's a huge uh, Fifty Shades of Grey fan, though, we just found out. Have you seen Poor Things? Did not like Poor Things. I understand the point is it's... Uh... Did I explain this already? The movie is about like a woman experiencing uh, life and misogyny and it shows you this by putting like a child's mind in a woman's body and showing her grow up very quickly. I understand the point it's trying to make, but I also just found it in it made me incredibly uncomfortable, not in a oh, I'm learning something, but just I don't want to watch that. People who love it seem to really love it. Fifty Shades of Grey are middle-aged white lady vanilla version of sexual, but there's a lot of full frontal. Middle-aged white lady vanilla version of sexual. So, like, penis in a vagina sex? So, that's so boring. <laughs> Who would like that? <laughs> oh, old, boring white women.
Are you playing the unpacking game? Only in real life. I don't think I want to... You just watch me unpack. It was mean enough that you watched me pack. The new Lady Gaga movie Joker also looks promising. Unpopular opinion. I did not really like the Joker movie. Uh... And what I've seen or heard about the new one makes me think I'm really going to not like it. Although Lady Gaga was excellent in A Star is Born. That is a very sad movie. Don't watch that movie if you don't want to feel sad. Also, Bradley Cooper should have won. I know everyone goofs on Bradley Cooper for wanting to win an Oscar so badly. But uh, he should have won for A Star is Born, I think. Because who won that year? Like, re no offense, but I think it was like Remy Malik from the Queen movie. Is that right? Am I right? Am I right or am I wrong? Who best actor Oscar winners? So, boo! The Oscars go back to 1927. Emil Jannings. <laughs> so, what year was that? So, Will Smith won in 2021 for King Richard. That was that was the year he, that was the, that was crazy. That whole thing was pretty crazy. Uh, Brendan Fraser won for the Whale in 2022. Cillian Murphy for Oppenheimer this year. That's all feels right. <clears throat> Anthony Hopkins in 2020. Yeah, 2018. You had Rami Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody, Christian Bale for Vice, Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born. Here, I'll show you. Why am I not showing you this? Willem Dafoe at Eternity's Gate and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book. This, this was Bradley Cooper's year to win. Oh, there's a Menchie. I didn't even notice. <clears throat> Bohemian Rhapsody was not a good movie. Like, I, I, <laughs> once in a while, a really bad movie <laughs> wins a bunch of awards. That was that movie. Rami Malek was great, but Taron Egerton should have at least been nominated. But here's the thing. If this, if those two movies came out in the same year, you're probably saying Rocket Man's a better movie than Bohemian Rhapsody. I think. Hey. Do you like this room? I don't think you've been in here before. She's found out she likes uh, carpets or rugs. We didn't really have any rugs at the last place, and here we have a couple. She's really into it. You're so sweet. <clears throat> oh, Menchie. Are you just going to sit down there? thought of you yesterday I found out about a cat food that makes people not allergic to cats can it be true Minchie <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing lady
she is being really sweet. I think like she explores around, gets a little spooked, lets herself get comfortable, then looks for like Christine or I for affection to like as like a reminder it's like good and cozy and safe. Oh, you can sit there. That's nice. <laughs> she never did this at the old place. Menchi, we might need to vacuum soon. Why did I move? Oh, Christine kicked me out. She's like, you got to stop watching so many Sniper Wolf videos. And I said, no. You can't tell me what to like. So I moved out. So this is my new uh, studio apartment. Christine moved into the new place. When are we going to fill those shelves? Uh, I don't know, probably tomorrow without you. I haven't tuned into streams much lately. Has Ben heard or played the climbing game? Markiplier has been posting. Has Markiplier been screaming while playing a video game? How much is he screaming? <laughs> I did download that game, but I haven't played it yet. And I have a feeling it will be a... Uh... I like really hard, frustratingly hard games. But uh, they still have to be somewhat rewarding and fun. And I don't know if that game looks very fun. Totally ignored. You should watch a trailer for... Uh, I don't know. I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> Why? You want me to do that right now? Just watch something like that I have never heard of? Tell me off stream. Chili Doug. Should I do it, Chili Doug? Hey. Hey, you baby. So you would like Fifty Shades? Is that where... What? Is that the next movie? What about Homeward Bound? No one wanted to watch Homeward Bound? All right, I might have to go just hang out with Menchie, apparently. Do we need to hang out? What do you want to do? Did we figure out if it was Smash Daddy? Someone look it up. New f f cheeseburger food truck on in Little Italy in Ottawa. one or the remake? They did a remake of Homeward Bound? What is Homeward Bound? I've never heard of it. It's a movie about dogs that will make you cry. There is a burger place called Smash Daddy. Okay, maybe next stream we just go to Smash Daddy. I can't stream on Friday. I have a prior engagement. But maybe I can maybe I can fit in a Smash Daddy cheeseburger stream <laughs> some other random night. Amy, forgive me if this has been addressed already, but why are all of Ben Tendo's videos on his channel gone? I like to reset the clock every April 1st and unlist all the videos. Uh, for people who are channel members or in the Discord, if you have the old links, you can still watch them. I just don't like the idea of there being like a public database of every live stream I've ever done.
How does that sound? Does that sound reasonable or mean? People think this is mean of me to do. Like I'm not considering the people in Budapest. It sounds so reasonable. Thank you, Valentina Shevchenko. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right, so I gotta, I've gotta figure out a few things with this new setup. Maybe a hummus fridge. Maybe, maybe get a little Guitar Hero action in here. <laughs> but yeah, I would like to do some random stuff like uh, try and smash Daddy cheeseburgers. How about that? I feel like it should be a regular thing. Ben goes to Ottawa food truck. Or something like that. My Tyler's great grandpa voiced the dog in Homeward Bound. We should watch it for a film Tendo. Why does it lie? Oh, why why does it lie? Menchie, why do they lie? My friend's uh, grandfather was uh, worked on the Wizard of Oz sequel, Return to Oz. We should watch that, too. But where are the wheelers? Get out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> My mom's friend dated Jared Leto against her will? I love Return to Oz. We should watch Return to Oz. Should we watch? Here's the poll. Poll to end stream. What should we watch? Also, I don't have a TV yet. <laughs> Return to Oz or Homeward Bound. You decide. You decide. You don't like dogs. I think we've got to brush you. I don't do tear jerker animal movies. Isn't it good to have a little cry sometimes though? What do you think? Ooh, the poll is close. It's too close to call. There's a cat in home. Oh yeah, is it three dogs and a cat? I cry every day at work. Oh, that's good. You like your job? Pizza and nail polish. I like that name. What do you usually say? You a weirdo? Oh, that's it. <laughs> do you like eat, take pictures of pizza with painted nails? Did unlisting streams remove people's chat history? Oh, good question. Let's try on you. Yeah, you're, I think you're right. <laughs> How about that? How about that, Minchie? <laughs> womp womp. Yeah, everyone gets a clean slate. Cold state. Cold slate. I love that for me. I gotta keep you humble. <laughs> Alright, but some things don't change. 